Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show how to find information about this integral, this is coincide or diverges, so we have integral from 1 to plus infinity of dx all over 1 plus x to the 8th power. How can you find information about this integral? I want to show you a really good approach, because take a look, we have a, a really bad denominator right here, so if we rewrite this integral as integral from 1 to plus infinity of dx over x to the 8th power, so we just leave this one right here. Because if we solve this one, we can easily say information about this one. So this is a good a good case, you can leave a constant in our denominator. So how can you solve this? A really good case how to solve this kind of integral is to write a limit and to change a measures right here. So for example, a approaches to plus infinity, and instead of this plus infinity, you put this a. So the integral will be from 1 to a. So you just put a, a substitution right here. So a will be our plus infinity. So a equal to plus infinity. And then a approaches to plus infinity, but integral goes to a, not to plus infinity. And our integral looks like that. This is our table case, x to the minus 8 power. We just bring it to our nominator dx and let's integrate this. How can you integrate this? Of course we can rewrite this as limit a approaches to plus infinity of the of the function. This is our table case. It will be equal to 1 over minus 1 over 7x to the seventh power. This will be our integral of, of this one and of course from 1 from 1 to a. And let's put these measures what we will have. The dead limit will be equal to limit a approaches to plus infinity of put this firstly 1 and a. And just with this minus we just put firstly this measure and after that this one. We will have 1 7 minus 1 7 a to the seventh power. So and let's find the limit with it. So this we put these measures right here and let's find this limit. How can we find this? Of course let's put infinity right here. This is a constant so it will be the same 1 over 7 and let's put this right here. Right here we have 1 over 7 times infinity and 1 over 7 times infinity it will be 1 over infinity minus 1 over infinity which is equal to 0. 1 over 7 minus 0 which is equal to 1 over 7. So as you can see we find our value, our answer with, with this integral. So we can easily say that this integral coincide. And moreover, if this integral coincide, if this integral coincide, then this integral coincide as well. So this coincide, this one and this coincide as well. I hope you understand this explanation, write your, write your question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment, maybe you have faster method how to solve it, maybe you disagree with this solution, it will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching.